online and on your smart speaker. Sun State Motorcycles, the corner of Old Maryborough Road and Nissan Street by Elba. Hit News Briefing. Hello, Emma Griffiths with your news briefing. Cost of living pressures are still a hot topic on the election campaign trail with less than two weeks to go until polling day. The Prime Minister has again been quizzed on how the coalition will address rising inflation. Scott Morrison says they can't hike wages but they can address unemployment. Businesses can make wages go up and when businesses are doing well and when unemployment is going down then wages go up. That's how it works. That's exactly what the Reserve Bank Governor was saying. Labor, meanwhile, has unveiled its plans to bring in the best and brightest new teachers. It's offering 5,000 students with an ATAR above 80 up to 12 grand a year to study teaching. Queenslanders are being warned to brace for heavy rain with record falls expected across much of the state. Central and northwest parts could see as much as 100 millimetres from tomorrow. Bomb forecaster Livio Regano says it'll really ramp up from Wednesday. Wednesday to Thursday, more likely to be the, just the days of very heavy cloud cover and more continuous rain. And then sort of on Friday, it'll start to break up and um, it'll never clear for the weekend. A toddler left inside a bus outside a daycare centre in central Queensland has been released from hospital. Three-year-old Nevaeh Austin was found unconscious last week. And the trial of Guy Sebastian's former manager, Titus Day, will resume next week with a new charge. It comes after Judge Peter Zara, who was presiding over the proceedings, died over the weekend. Ergon is urging drivers to slow down when roadside power line works are in progress. Please follow the traffic control signs and speed limits for everyone's safety. In sport, Cronulla is selling Celebrating one of the best wins in its history, beating the Warriors last night 29-10. to The Sharks have become the first team in 14 years to win with just 12 players on the field after two were sent off. But things could get a bit tricky next week with Will Kennedy copping a two-game ban with an early guilty plea for a careless high tackle charge or a three-match suspension if he contests and loses. chance of showers and a thunderstorm this afternoon on the Fraser Coast. It'll drop down to 18 overnight, showers and 24 tomorrow. And our listener app is the home of local news. Download now to listen live or on demand.